I came here to the Franciscan Monastery of the Holy Land in Washington, D.C. after being a pastor in Ohio. But I still keep in touch with my parishioners and recently heard from them that a young mother of two who had long suffered from a debilitating disease was undergoing surgery, hoping for a cure. Sadly, she died during that surgery. I told her brother, who lives near the monastery, that I would offer Mass for her. He was able to attend and we had coffee afterward, sharing our memories and our sadness. It was a special moment for both of us. In the shared prayer and the celebration of the Eucharist, we experienced God's love. Requesting Masses to be celebrated for loved ones, living or deceased, or for some special intention, is a unique Catholic practice that dates from the earliest of centuries. In the Roman catacombs, on the tomb of Abersius, a bishop who died around the year 180, there's an inscription begging for prayers for the repose of his soul. All of this is based on our belief in the communion of saints, by which we profess in the creed that we're united to Jesus by our baptism, members of the church, including all who have ever been joined to Christ, whether living or dead. At Mass, we unite ourselves with the love of Jesus in his passion, death, and resurrection. A perpetual enrollment is available for those who wish to share on a regular basis in Masses offered by the friars at the holy places in the Holy Land or here in the United States. Our friar community continually prays for our friends and benefactors. We invite you to join us in that circle of prayer, a source of blessing from God for you, your loved ones, and those whom the Franciscans serve in the Holy Land.